Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show in under 5 minutes how to do this hover effect for your funnels in ClickFunnels. So the first step we want to analyze here is that we actually need two separate images. In my case, I have the grayscale and I have this other one with the special offer and the blur effect right there for the hover effect. So choose the ones that you like, choose the images that you want to use, just make sure that they are the exact same size. Now, the next step is we want to upload the second version, the hover effect in dig the digital assets in ClickFunnels. So you just go to the digital assets and then you add uh, as a, um, a digital asset right here. So I'm going to use this image and I'm going to copy the asset path. This is very, very important as we are going to use it. All right. Now we are going to go back to the ClickFunnels editor and I'm just going to add an image element with the grayscale. All right, this image is going to be the one that I'm going to show that is not going to be the hover effect. This is just the image that we are going to show uh, on default. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to go over to the, the custom CSS and paste the digital assets URL right there. Now, this is where we start doing the changes. We are going to use a very simple CSS code, all right? So follow along. The first step is we need to go to the image element settings get CSS info and copy the CSS ID selector. Okay, this is to target this element. Now we paste it there, we open and close brackets, and now we are going to mention that we are going to do a hover effect. This is very, very important. Now, what you're going to do is copy this, um, this URL right now, or command uh, X or control X uh, to cut, and we are going to say that the content uh, is going to have a different URL. We are going to use the exact same URL that we copied in the digital assets. We close, we make sure that we have a uh, semicolon right there as well, and now the effect should be working, and it is. The only problem is that the image is comp like it's leaving the row, right? So how do we fix that? We basically add another paragraph here, and we mention that the width needs to be 100% and we add an important there to override, okay? So now when we do this, guess what? It's going to do the exact same effect and uh, it's going to stick with the exact same resolution, all right? Now, this is just one five minute tutorial. I have other 20 plus CSS codes, copy and paste, with followed with 20 plus video tutorials. If you are interested in learning CSS for ClickFunnels, let me know and I'll send you the link. It has a huge library that you have ch uh, chances to change buttons. Uh, other effects with Hover, you can do all kinds of great, great, great things. Let me know if you want to take a look at it and I'll see you in the next video.